History is littered with characters who always seem destined to be second best. Tony Jarrett had Colin Jackson, Jimmy White had Stephen Hendry, and Steve Backley had Jan Jelesny. Some say that Vauxhall has always been second best to Ford, but with the new insignia has Vauxhall finally put one over on its arch rival. It's no surprise that Vauxhall ditched the Vectra name when it came to its new large family car, the Insignia, which is available in hatch, saloon and sports tourer versions, because the Insignia is a much stronger car all around. While the Vectra was a decent, if rather dull car, the Insignia is nicer to look at, nicer to drive, and simply a nicer place to be than its predecessor. Something the Vectra did very well was provide a great ride, and it's the same story in the Insignia, it's a very comfortable car to drive and it should make for a great cruiser on the motorways as well. There's decent room for five in the Insignia, although the sloping roof really cuts down on headroom in hatch versions. There's a huge boot in the back that provides up to nearly 500 litres of storage space, and that will increase to almost 1,500 with the rear seats folded down. Where the Insignia really excels over the Vectra is in its exterior styling by British designer Mark Adams, and it provides this really low-slung, coupe-like profile certainly in comparison to the Vectra. The interior is similarly strong and it really continues Vauxhall's improvement of all of its car's interiors. There are some drawbacks. The Insignia isn't the best drive in the sector. The steering feels a little bit too light, a little too vague for my liking. It's particularly important to equip the Insignia with the right engine and Vauxhall offers a huge array of different engines. I'd go for a larger diesel engine which will offer a better mix of performance and economy particularly the 2 litre diesels which come in 130 and 160 PS geysers. There's also a 2 litre petrol engine with 220 brake horsepower that's worth investigating. If fuel economy and CO2 emissions are really important to you, then choose an EcoFlex version. They'll offer incredible fuel economy and the associated running cost will be particularly low because of the low carbon emissions. All in all, the Vauxhall Insignia is an excellent car, but does it put one over on the Mondeo? I think that's a matter of judgement actually, I think that depends on what your needs are. For some people, the Insignia will be the best car in the family car sector.